This is the DEFCON warning system. Alert status for 2 p.m. Thursday, March 1, 2012. Condition green. DEFCON 5. Condition green. DEFCON 5. Condition green. DEFCON 5. There are currently no imminent nuclear threats against the United States at this time. North Korea has agreed to a nuclear moratorium at a single facility in exchange for food aid. Analysts note that the agreement calls for the moratorium only at a single facility and does not cover other aspects of nuclear work by the nation. In essence, North Korea has agreed to nothing. However, North Korea continues its belligerent rhetoric against the South and is developing unmanned attack aircraft using U.S. target drones imported from the Middle East. Russia is to build two new warships, the first in a series of short and mid-range frigates and corvettes, and has announced plans to build six submarines and one aircraft carrier annually. $639 billion have been allocated over the next eight years for military building. In the meantime, the U.S. is considering cutting its deployed nuclear force up to 80 while Russia is to resume patrols using nuclear-armed submarines. Russia's Deputy Defense Minister states that Russia may increase its nuclear potential to counter U.S. missile shield and may also pull out of 2010 Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. In response to nuclear-powered submarines being delivered to India, Pakistan has leaked that it will pursue nuclear subs with planned operation in five to eight years. Taiwan has announced plans to arm itself with U.S. anti-ship missiles while Ronald L. Burgess, director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, has testified that China is developing space warfare capabilities, including the ability to attack and destroy satellites. Iranian diplomats state that the Fordu facility is capable of making fissile warhead material and refuses UN nuclear watchdog inspectors to visit the park and facility while US spy agencies continue to report that Iran has not yet made a decision on whether or not to produce a nuclear weapon. Diplomatic sources say they believe that Iran has expanded uranium enrichment at its protected facility. Iranian naval exercises, described as defensive preparation, appear more to be practiced to attack the Strait of Hormuz as the maneuver showed a definite trend of engaging in asymmetrical, or unconventional, warfare. The United States is increasingly believing that an attack on Iran will be required and, in an almost dizzying turn, now begins plans to assist Israel in an attack. However, the U.S. military believes that its bunker-busting bomb is not capable of reaching hard targets in Iran and is seeking an upgrade to the weapon. Nevertheless, they have sent special elite commandos to the Iranian border, ready to engage Iran in deep operations. On the other hand, the 2013 United States presidential budget proposal cuts Israel's missile defense program by 6.3 million as well as cuts funding for the U.S. ballistic missile program by 700 million. However, the new budget proposal continues increased funding for nuclear modernization, but disturbingly Deputy Defense Secretary Carter states that the U.S. must be open to purchasing foreign-made weapons and equipment. For its part, Iran is to more than double its defense spending while it has begun mass-producing the Zafar anti-ship cruise missile. With regard to the aborted joint missile drill between the United States and Israel, it has been rescheduled to October 2012. The DEFCON warning system is a private enterprise which monitors world events and assesses nuclear threats against the United States by national entities.
It is not affiliated with any government agency and does not represent the alert status of any military branch. The public should make their own evaluations and not rely on the DEFCON warning system for any strategic planning. At all times, citizens are urged to learn what steps to take in the event of a nuclear attack. If this had been an actual attack, the DEFCON warning system will give radiation readings for areas that are reported to it. Your readings will vary. This system serves the Kettle Falls area of northeast Washington. Official news sources will have radiation readings for your area. For immediate updates, go to www.defconwarningsystem.com. Breaking news and important information can be found on the DEFCON warning system message board and on the DEFCON Twitter feed DEFCONS. You may also subscribe to the YouTube channel DEFCON Warning System. Note that Twitter and YouTube updates may be subject to delays. The next scheduled update is 2 p.m. Pacific Time, April 2, 2012. Additional updates will be made as the situation warrants, with more frequent updates at higher alert levels. This concludes this broadcast of the DEFCON warning system.